Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Tuesday, March the 19th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. Alright, a new week and we got some nice challenges here, right on. Now, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there if you're a brand spanking new player to the game. You're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, if there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble, I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff we could do right here in our camp. Um, let's go ahead, we'll do this first one here. Scrap junk to produce steel 10. So steel is very abundant in the wasteland. And uh, steel, we can find a lot of items. Even if you pick up armor and weapons, if you scrap it, we'll have steel in it. But because we're doing daily weekly challenges, we might as well just bulk steel at the good old Tinker's Workbench. Let's go over ahead to our Tinker's Workbench. We're going to go craft. Go down here to bulk. Go down here to bulk steel. So as long as you have two plastic and 30 steel scrap in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Now let's back out, let's scrap, let's scrap the bulk steel, we just literally crafted, done, scrap junk to produce steel 30 for 30, easy score, easy score right there. And we'll wait for that to uh, pop up off the screen there before we continue on. Alright, there we go. What's next here? Scrap junk to produce lead, 10, so same deal, I have many videos out there showing you uh, junk items that you can find if you're legitimately looking for lead because we need lead it's very important for a lot of crafting and modifications just as uh, more as just as much as steel is okay uh, tin cans are a great source of lead uh, but uh, because we have it a daily weekly challenge we can just bulk lead at the good old tinkers workbench let's go ahead and go craft same method as we did with steel go down to bulk go down here to bulk lead right there as long as we have 20 lead scrap and 2 plastic in our stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and just craft just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Let's go ahead and scrap. Scrap the bulk lead we just crafted here in our camp. Done. Scrap trying to produce lead 10 for 10. Again, easy score. Easy score. What's next here, Jim? I saw one more down here. There we go. Scrap trying to produce aluminum 5. Hey, we're on a roll here. Why, why not, right? So again, I have a couple great videos showing you some great spots for aluminum. Uh, aluminum cans is a great spot. You can find a bunch of aluminum cans down here at good old Camden Park. Uh, the video that I made quite some time ago, I bring you guys right down here to Quarry X3. Now I know it's in a higher level zone, but there's about five blasting cap box in there and it's their fall of aluminum. And um, so aluminum is very important to have, especially when you're modifying weapons and you're repairing them in your crafting weapons and armor and such but because we're doing daily weekly challenges we can bulk aluminum at the good old tinker's workbench let's go ahead and go craft go down here to bulk look at that bulk aluminum right there so as long as you have 10 aluminum scrap and two plastic in your stash or scrap box this method will work for you let's go ahead and bulk just one that's all that we need let's back out let's scrap the scrap the bulk aluminum we just crafted done <laughs> Just like that, guys. You guys can get this done a lot quicker than I am, but I'm doing a lot of yapping it's just to uh, explain it to folks who maybe has never done it before. What's next? What is next here? We are on a roll. Craft a grenade, mine, or thrown weapon 5. So, of course, thrown weapons. When we think of thrown weapons, we think of throwing knives. Let's go to a weapons workbench here. Let's go craft. Go down here to thrown weapons. So you see these throwing knives here, they cost four steel each. This is a default plan. You learn at the beginning of the game at the lowest level possible. Okay, so everyone should be able to do this. As long as you have four steel per item, 20 steel, done. Craft grenade, mine, or thrown weapon five for five, done. Then when you're done with that, you can sell it to a vendor if you like. Or you can just scrap it, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to scrap it. Or you can use it. Now, if you're looking to craft a grenade or mine, you actually have to do that at the Tinker's Workbench. Let's go ahead and go craft just to show you. 
All right, so we have some grenades down here. And as you can see, a lot of the grenades, okay, they require demolition expert. And some of them will de uh, demolition expert and science, okay? And the same thing with the mines. Same thing with the mines, okay? So FYI on that. But the throwing knives are definitely the way to go uh, because the, you don't get the daily weekly challenge done as quick as possible. Okay. Rock and roll here. Rock and roll. Loving it. Craft or scrap a piece of power armor one. So when this particular daily pops up or weekly, I like to go out and find a piece of power armor and then scrap it. Uh, crafting power armor will cost some valuable resources. Okay. So I have a couple great videos out there. Some of them are a little older. Okay. Looking for places for power armor. Uh, but a lot of the new places we got on December 5th, 2023 update, uh, like this Blue Ridge bunkhouse, for example, and, um, I think Forward Station Tango might have some. Settlers Ridge might have one as well. Uh, so let's go over here. We'll go to Settlers Ridge. And there's usually uh, power armor set there. Now, if you are limited to... Um, yeah, usually usually it's right here. Uh, if you're limited to uh, public servers, okay? Everyone and their dog would be looking for them. Okay, and a lot of people will take power armor just naturally anyway. More so to scrap than anything to use or just to use the chassis but uh, usually there's a, a power armor sitting right here okay so let's keep going here we'll see what else is uh, around here let's go to the blue ridge bunkhouse we'll see if that one's down there okay this guy is not here either that's fine and that's fine we will come across that quite a bit all right, let's go to uh, another good spot. I like to go. It is New River Gorge Bridge West, right down here. Let's go over here. Now I am on a uh, private server, so I don't know why they're not po they're not spawning in for me. That's kind of weird, but uh, sometimes the games will do that. When you're looking for it, you'll never find it. You know what I mean? Let's go over here. We'll go on the other side. You can you can do this any way you like. I'm just going to sneak past those ghouls there. I'm not going to bother with them. All right. Now this this guy here is going to be a little unavoidable. Is he doing a push up there? Huh? <laughs> After the fact, eh? All right. So New River Gorge Bridge West. This guy right here. So you see West Bridge Key. Okay. And if you're fairly new to the game and you don't have the West Bridge key, uh, where you'll find that key is right down here at Camden Park. So you'll see the big roller coaster ride. And when you get on the roller coaster ride, you'll see two different sets of red roller coasters that are attached to each other. So two different sets. It is the, I believe it's the second set. And then you'll see a skeleton in one of uh, the seats. And um, there'll be a set of keys there. And that key is for this uh, wedge, uh, West <laughs> West Bridge key. Okay, right here. All right, so we do have a set in here. Nice, nice. And this is usually my go-to spot. So when I'm picking uh, power armor for this particular daily challenge, I just usually transfer just one piece, okay? Even though I'm on a, a private server, uh, when you're on a public server, um, it was always hard. I remember before I had followed first, trying to find this stuff because everyone and their dog was grabbing it. And, but to only take what you need, because we only need one piece, okay? We have a Tinker's Workbench right here. Let's go ahead and go scrap. We'll scrap this bad boy. Done, just like that. We have to scrap a piece of power armor, one for one, done. Just like that, guys. Just like that. We have uh, one of those guys there, too. Nice, nice. Great sources of lead, you know, like these uh, paint cans with the actual paint on them, okay? Like the blue ones and yellow ones, okay? Good stuff. What's next here, Jim? Okay. Let's, um... Purple Blood Eagle's Light. Let's head back to my camp here. And, uh... I should have done this before, but I was just too excited because we were getting things done so fast. And, of course, I jinxed myself. Right? <laughs> That's how it works in this game sometimes. This when we're on a roll. Or Jimmy's on a roll. 
and then this happens. <laughs> that roll is slick. It's like it's just <laughs> oozing of melted butter on top of it, and I just can't keep traction. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab a weapon here. Yeah, whatever, Jim. Whatever you're talking about. Let's grab a weapon we can cripple. <laughs> he used to cripple with. Let's grab this handmade. Oh, my soul. Let's go ahead and get this uh, 5.56 five, ammo. We don't, need, we don't need very many. We'll just grab, oh, we'll just grab 20. There we go. Um, let's go ahead here. We're going to put these two on. There we go. Let's get something to eat and drink here. I, uh, the guy's a little, uh, not doing too well. There we go. How about some, uh, dog food? Jim, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead here. Uh, Cripple Blood Eagle's Leg 2. So many spots for some Blood Eagles, okay? And, uh, of course, looking for Blood Eagles, basically. We're looking for that icon on the map, okay? Let's go to a good spot here. Um, something that we can kind of get one. Let's go down here to uh, the Pigsty. Actually, no. We'll go down here. Widow's, Widow's Perch. There's only about three or four of them up here. Widow's Perch. Let's pop up here. Let's do something different. We've, usually been, we've been going to the kill box quite a bit lately, so we'll, we'll give them a little break. <laughs> uh, so basically, in order to cripple... Okay, um, a lot of people, what you can do is you can free aim if you like. Free aim for the leg, or you can use vats. I prefer to use vats myself, okay? Because they how they like to kind of run around and move around a lot. And when you use vats, there's a perk card that'll help you out, help you out with that. It's under perception. Called Concentrated Fire. It allows you to move your vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. And this is this is my preferred method anyway. You can play any way you like. Uh, when you're crippling, I find uh, ballistic ammo. You know, 5.56, 45, 44, 308, and such. Uh, the plasma caster works well. Bow and arrow works well. Uh, but most energy weapons, <laughs> like this alien blaster, which is awesome, but it can't cripple anything to save its life. I'll eventually get it done, but uh, the video will be uh, 24 hours long. <laughs> now, if we do this right, we only need one blood eagle, okay? Is we got left leg, right leg. The so right leg, right leg. Let's go for the left leg, Jim. Left leg, left leg. Okay, so we didn't get uh, credit for that left leg. There we go. Purple blood, blood eagle's leg two for two. If you do it right, you can you only need one blood eagle, FYI. What is this cat doing over there? See him? Oh, he's jumping up on the... Have a nice life, buddy. See you in the other realm there. Let's pick some stuff up here. All right, so that's that place. As I say, just uh, usually about four uh, blood eagles here. Just perfect. Yeah, you're not being attacked by a hundred of them. And that's right here at uh, good old Widow's Perch. We haven't been up here for a little while, so it's nice to do something a little bit different. Okay, now we got one more left. One more left. Kill a creature while on a team 10. Okay, so a creature obviously can't be a robot, can't be a human being, and we have to do it while on the team. So it can be uh, an animal, it can be an insect, a ghoul, a scorched, a cryptid. Those are considered creatures, okay? And you got to do it while on the team. Now, we've done this before. You can go ahead and join a team with other players if you so wish. But... You can join a team by yourself on your own server like I am. I'm going to create a new team here. It's just going to be a casual one. Let's back out so you can see I'm the only one on the team. And that's fine. We're going to kill some creatures. Now where are we going to go for some creatures? Let's go ahead. Let's um, let's go to Summer yeah, we'll go to Somerville's Dam. We'll, we'll actually spawn here at good old Charleston Capitol building. And then uh, we'll work our way up the road, get some scorched. Scorched are considered creatures. Now, if you're very low level 
and you're kind of scared to kind of venture outside the forest, okay? There's a bunch of animals down here, okay? You can take care of those animals. Some mongrels up here, and there's some rad roaches around, some opossums, okay? Mole rats, so that's a great spot as well. So we're on a team by ourselves. We're going to kill some creatures. But that's the most important part. You can join a team with other players if you so wish, as I mentioned. Or you can just be by yourself on your own server like I am. And it too will work. Burp. Burp. Burp, burp. Just like that, guys. 10 millimeter rounds. Why is it showing 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter rounds? I don't know where that guy came from, but uh, whatever. Alright, let's pop over here now. See how that curves? Love it. Totally love it. This guy out here. Great spot. It's a great spot. Does you can make it as easy or as hard as you want. Okay, it's your game, you play the way you want. If you're in an easier area, or if you're in a harder area, I'm not gonna dictate as long as you're satisfied. <laughs> See you later! As long as you're satisfying um, you know, being on a team, either with players or by yourself. Okay. And it's a creature. So, so there you go. Just like that, guys. We are done. Let's go over here where it's a little more quieter. Stand up here. Let's check it out. We are. Just like that, guys. And, uh... We would have been in a little bit of a record there if I didn't have to go back to my camp, but it is what it is. We did a lot in our camp. But you guys can do a lot quicker than me. I'd like to do a lot of explaining for newer folks, so uh, just an FYI. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Ranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind138. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.